the dance would surface again in the summer of 2018 on the Russian image board 2CH. Ricardo had seen a bit of a small resurgence there. Around this time, people had begun posting long threads of TikTok girls dancing. However, some of our Russian brothers were sick of these vile TikTok threads and devised the plan to fight back. On September 30th, 2018, a massive flame war began between the TikTok fans and the Ricardo fans. The TikTok fans would spam long threads of TikTok girls dancing and in retaliation, the Ricardo fans would repeatedly spam Ricardo in their threads. The TikTok fans got wise to this, and they just stopped opening the Ricardo videos. The Ricardo army was nearly defeated, but then the R&D team got a genius idea. They decided to post TikTok videos, but instead swap the girls out with Ricardo. A simple yet effective bait and switch tactic, thus tricking many of the TikTok fans into seeing our boy. Around this time is when Ricardo would be paired with the Bass Hunter song, Dota, the song that he most commonly appears with. You probably know it. The Ricardo Dota video has been watched around 26 million times now. I'm sure people are just re-watching it for research. Ricardo would spread to the English-speaking world through the 4chan gift boards. Over the next year, Ricardo would hit a major stride in the West, spreading around to TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, and every other social media platform, until hitting peak popularity in April 2019. Most other memes would last only around a couple weeks, but Ricardo, he was a different beast. The Ricardo meme would just not die. This was his time to shine. At this point, he was inescapable. The reason for this is likely because Ricardo's meme format was so malleable that it could be used for just about anything. From a simple bait and switch to a complex Ricardo on Ricardo fight video. He stayed around notably longer than most other memes. While most others tend to have a massive growth followed by a swift death, Ricardo has yet to completely flatline even to this day. In normal circumstances, the person featured in a meme such as this would surface to capitalize on their new fame. However, Ricardo was nowhere to be seen. Was Ricardo dead? The death rumor mainly spread because the last post made on Ricardo's Facebook page was Everyone be safe in the path of Irma. Which is in reference to the Category 5 hurricane which hit Florida in 2017. Which led many to think that Ricardo could have been swept away. However, Ricardo Milos wasn't on any fatality or casualty list, so the hunt continued. Some had thought that they found him on Twitch, but that was a lie. A bodybuilder who had a similar look to him decided to impersonate Ricardo. People eventually caught on, but it was after he had gained thousands of followers from Stolen Valor. That's you? As it's me! The trail was beginning to run cold. However, YouTuber Wavy WebSurf reported on the discovery of Ricardo Milos' official BigMuscle.com account, Hung Brazilian 9 What's BigMuscle.com? Well, what do you think it is? It's a homoerotic bodybuilder admiring website. This find was significant because Ricardo had post history there, dating all the way back to 2004, and he had recently accessed the account when the dance started to go viral again. Ricardo was likely alive, but was he okay? Seeing that Ricardo had given a detailed list of measurements and identifiable information, I decided to sponsor a small search to find out where he could have gone. I created flyers and asked the public if they had any information. How would, how would his, uh, his body fat information um, help? In we just had to give all the possible information. It was honestly a waste of time. However, Wavy and most other people had failed to notice a very important piece of information that Ricardo left on his account. Ricardo had left his public email for fans to contact him. I decided to ask him if he was alive and how he was doing. While we await Ricardo's response, let's go back to another topic. What was that tour about? If we go back to his website, he has a schedule and an old number for you to contact him. I tried calling him. It isn't his number anymore. Do not call that number. Underneath the list of cities and dates, the website states, I provide discreet companionship, entertainment services, nationally and internationally. I do travel often. Please refer to the schedule above to see my whereabouts. I am very discreet and privacy is important to me. That's uh, 
That's a little strange. Hopefully, Ricardo isn't doing anything illicit. Any and all donations are for legal entertainment services. It's simply for time, entertainment only, dancing, modeling, etc. I cannot and will not discuss or agree to any type of solicitation. No fees or tips of any kind will be quoted, negotiated, assessed, or collected in exchange for any sexual conduct. Well, okay, that's good. It, it's good to see that he's not doing anything illegal. Well, anyway, Ricardo links to reviews on his website. I wonder what they say about him. Oh! Fifty-year-old married father. Once we met, he was everything I expected and much more. The way he talked to me. The way he kissed me. The way he let me explore and devour his muscled body. Ricardo was perfect. Ricardo will send you an email with his expectations and a questionnaire. This process might look off-putting to some, but I actually find it as a reassuring sign that I am dealing with a consummate professional. When I met him, my first impression was, wow, he's definitely better looking in person. He was a little hairier with a nice goatee and a bit of a treasure trail in his chest that was oh so awesome. And those eyes and that impish smile, oh my god, they're even sexier in person. We spent a nice part of our date having a stimulating discussion about various topics including current affairs. Why, 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 why? This was just as good as the physical action. And when they say he's a great kisser, he surely is one of the best. His choice of music and something as simple as lighting a scented candle to create a sexy ambiance shows a superior attention to detail. Ricardo combines looks, brains, and sex appeal that made me long for time to have stopped at that moment so I could stretch our meeting indefinitely. If you see Ricardo Milos coming to your town, you better spend some time with him. So that's how Ricardo gets his gamer bread. It's not surprising, considering the evidence was all there, but this is uh, still a bit shocking to see confirmation. Uh, it should also be noted that he does not have a single bad review. That's no exaggeration. Every single review has exceptionally high marks. Someone even rated him a 10 out of 5 stars. It's unknown why Ricardo would state that he doesn't provide these types of services, and then directly link to a site with multiple reviews of him providing these types of services. Also, why does Ricardo have an animated version of himself on his website? With his pee-pee hanging over his name? It's porn, but it's like art. Oh, Ricardo just responded. I hadn't known, but around the same time period, Ricardo had made a statement from his official Yahoo group. Yes, he uses Yahoo groups. Ricardo had become a father, and it was great to see that he was doing his best to be a good dad and staying busy with raising his son. However, Ricardo wasn't too happy about those memes. Of course, most of those videos are transformative and fair use, but I wanted to help Ricardo find a way to capitalize on his success, so I responded to him. Blah blah, basically, I emailed him a couple of times, and I offered to help him, and told him to post a photo of himself to stop impersonators. Well, he didn't like that very much. I already told you, I really don't give a shit about bullshit rumors, especially if someone is making money off my image. I am not posting any pictures to prove anything. I run the Yahoo fan group, which I moderate myself. This is my only and official email account. Have a good day, Ricardo. I don't think he likes me. I was honestly a little sad by his response at first, but after researching other people who decided to email him, well, um, it appears he wasn't much nicer to anyone else. Please go back and tell whomever or whatever I'm alive and doing well. Stop emailing with this nonsense about fucking memes someone created. I don't have time for this unless you're paying me for the use of my image. Now I understand many people were disappointed in these responses, and a lot of people thought maybe this could be an impersonator. However, it's very likely that this is the real Ricardo as the email that he's been messaging me and others from has actually been his since around 2004. 
And from my research, we can see that email appears publicly on every single website Ricardo has ever been known to be associated with. I have even more confidence in saying this now, because after people started emailing him, Ricardo updated his Big Muscle account with new photos, but kept the same email link. If an impersonator had somehow taken over that email, I'm sure Ricardo would have linked a new email to his account. Also, if there was an impersonator, it would make sense for them to try and milk us. Why would they tell us to stop emailing them? There's nothing to gain there. In my opinion, this is Ricardo, and he doesn't want to be bothered about memes anymore. We should stop emailing him. It's time for the search to come to rest. Maybe someday, he'll come around. But before we go today, there's been a development. A Ricardo Milos page has appeared on Facebook in the last year. It appears to be an impersonator. Nothing really significant there. However, more recently, along with lost pictures, they seem to have pictures of what seems to be an older Ricardo. From what I can tell, this is a new photo. This Facebook account probably isn't him, but at least with these photos that keep being found, we can tell our boy is out there, somewhere, and hopefully, he's doing well. And maybe, just maybe, one day, he'll grace us with his presence again. Look at the pain in its eyes.